thanks guys for visiting my channel and please do share and subscribe to my channel because that motivates me to make more videos and today's video I'm gonna go over the force due to surface distribution of charges so we got a surface over here and we have a charge on it and we consider small surface element so we are trying to find the force on this charge q naught due to the charge distributed on this surface so let's say we got a plane sheet of surface area s so this square the yellow square with the surface area s and on which we are distributing uh, charge q uniformly so charge q is distributed uniformly on this surface with surface area s and uh, let's say we have a small area element this green square over here ds and the charge on this small uh, surface element is going to be dq so we can write surface charge density sigma which is basically uh, sigma is going to be equal to dq over ds and we can find out the charge on this small surface element is going to be dq is equal to sigma ds all right now the electrostatic force on the charge q naught uh, here which is placed at distance r from this small surface element and of course the unit vector r which represent the direction so the electrostatic force on this charge q naught due to this uh, small surface element ds is going to be equal to df the electrostatic force you're going to write it from you know from coulomb's law or called coulomb's force is going to be 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught dq the charge on this small surface element time q naught this charge over here over the square of the distance and of course the unit vector r cap Now we are trying to find the total force on this charge Q naught due to this whole surface S, due to the charge on this surface S. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna integrate DF over the entire surface. So F is going to be integration sine or integration over surface S, DF, and it's going to be equal to S, and we're going to plug in the value of df 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught dq times q naught over r square and the unit vector r and we can plug in the value of dq from here into this equation so f is going to be equal to i'm going to take out the constants so 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught and we can say q naught is also coming out it's constant and integration over surface s and it's going to be uh, dq is sigma ds so it's going to be sigma ds over r square into unit vector r so this is the equation for total force that is acting on this charge q naught due to the charge on this whole surface s that's it simple the another example you can use you know let's say you have a spherical shell uh, and the charge is distributed on the surface of a spherical shell then you can also find the force on any test charge let's say q naught and charge is distributed on the surface of a shell similarly like this the only thing will be the sigma will be the charge density is going to be equal to q over 4 pi r squared let's say r is the radius over here so that is going to be the surface charge density because 4 pi r squared is the surface area of a sphere 
So you can plug in sigma is equal to uh, q over 4 pi r squared. All right, so different ways, different examples. I'm gonna go over examples a little later after completing all these uh, concepts. All right, thanks for watching the videos. And again, please do share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you, have a good day, bye-bye.